comp plans. So mm-hmm. when you were at Flexport as well as at Zenefits, and you can you can talk about Mixmax too if you want to, but don't move on to that too quickly. But from a comp pr- plans perspective, um, what did you learn about putting together comp plans and what are the landmines that people should try to avoid as they're putting together comp plans for sales and sales development reps? Hmm. Yeah. Um, so the first thing I did at Flexport was I moved it from a quarterly payout to a monthly payout. Um, and the reason that I kind of lobbied for this and frankly spent like a little bit of, um, I guess kind of personal capital on it, uh, was that inside sales reps need quick feedback loops. And the quickest feedback loop is the direct deposit into your bank account based on the prior month's performance. (laughs) And because it was taking, you know, 120 days to get that feedback loop, like, like reps weren't necessarily feeling the way that they were performing in the way that you really want folks to feel based on like, you know, these incentives. Sure. Uh, and so we moved it to a monthly program and, and kind of overnight, like you, you would sort of see uh, the folks that were performing the highest, like, uh, you know, behaving a certain way and folks that, that sort of weren't behaving a different way. And that's not to say that folks were coming in and being like gaudy about whatever their, their uh, OTEs were, but it's more just to say that like you noticed a difference in terms of what the first of the month and the last day of the month and everything in between looked like when there were monthly feedback loops. Yep. So I'm a big fan of like of, of feedback loops early and often. And when you can program one of the most important feedback loops in sales, which is incentives and, and you know, cash comp plans, uh, you want to have that happen pretty frequently. Um, and I think especially for SDR roles, if, if anybody listening to this is doing a quarterly payout or, or hopefully not anything longer than that, I would, I would consider um, what the operational burden would be to maybe move that to, to a monthly payout. Um, and if it's not too high, I would do it. Uh, and the reason why is just because reps benefit from that feedback, um, especially hyper in a hyper growth uh, environment. Right. Um, so that's that's kind of the first thing that we did. Um, and the next thing that we did was we um, we moved the goals up, uh, and that's always always a hard thing to do. But the team was performing well, and so we moved the goals up. And um, you know the the OTE stays the same, and and I think that that's always a, a challenging thing for a young manager to do in their career is, is help people get on board doing more work for kind of the same pay, so to speak. Mm-hmm. But um, if we were fortunate to have some really kind of talented people on the team that just owned it and went out and, and crushed their numbers and set the bar really high. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of specific things I can talk about with regards to comp plans, but I'm kind of always a belief of, of the system of like rapid feedback loops, um, uncapped upside, um, as long as it's not going to put the business at risk in any way. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and yeah, those are kind of the two things that I always try to make sure are built into comp plans. 